What's good geezer game? We are coming to you live, but not live, from London, England. We are back. We are back, ready to attack. Yes, we are back, and we've been lagging a bit the last few days, I'll be fair. We've had some very, very late nights, and Aragog's back as well. Oh, Aragog, did you miss us? I think not. Yeah, it's been really, really nice just to be back in our home, where you've got all of your comforts. You know, we've got, oh, my Mac. I've missed my Mac. Mac! Big screen. Garrett Pinky is all nestled nicely on there and also someone else is here to greet us when we came back. Have you been Katsumir? Yeah. So we've slowly been settling into our days. We started off today with some Scrabble, didn't we mate? Yeah. What better way is there to start the day than with some Scrabble? Yeah, and it's just been nice trying to like organise things. I'm really, really excited for this year. So it's nice to be like back at the base to start planning certain things. I've actually as well got uh, some talks booked in for this year. Some of you guys are asking what festivals I'd be at. So check it out in the description below. I'll list the ones I'm at. I'm Booked in for about 10 already this year. The one's in London in a couple of weeks. What have you got there, mate? Are you just adding more and more squishy things yeah. to the sofa? Yeah. This is becoming a very cozy home for everyone. I know this is crazy as well, but one thing I was really excited about getting back is getting stuck into Lego. Jojo's been talking about Lego and couldn't wait until we got home and built something. We built a huge spaceship the other day, which has been destroyed already. It wasn't me, it was a crash. It was a crash, was it? Yeah, the driver sped it up too much and those Lego drivers. What's wrong with them? And so I was really looking forward to sorting out the Lego, but we've got a bit of a dilemma on the, our hands. I say our hands, this is all me and my thoughts. But I've got all of this Lego and we've compartmentalized a lot of it with like different types of pieces in different drawers and tubs and stuff. But even those aren't good enough anymore. It's like we need more like subsections. We've even got a bag of Lego in a Whole Foods bag that came back with us from America. That's what situation we're at. So I'm thinking about three options. So Giza gang, I want you to vote below. Number one, we get more trays, more tubs, have a nice organized system, maybe filling up these shelves here. Number two, our food pantry becomes a Lego storage area. There's a guy on YouTube called Apol Man who has something similar to that, bigger than this, but that would mean no pantry. Which I'm not too sure I could actually deal with. Number three, we turn Jamie's room into a Lego room which would mean all of these cuddlies have to go. What? Absolutely not. I don't agree to that, even though I look extremely happy. So vote below, one, two, or three. Guess what, I've actually got a Care Bear to sit on top of Aragog's head. Is that Aragog happy with that? Aragog, are you happy with a Care Bear on your head? I think yes. Another thing to report, Geezer Gang, is that we have gone through another distiller. This one here is a new one. It looks like the one we just had. When we came back, Katie plugged in the American one we had using a UK lead, and our so sockets didn't like it. It just blew it up, literally. <laughs> And so, you know, we bought a third distiller. But what was important that so this is a worthy investment for a third time. So today we've got some errands to run. Oh, I love a good errand. It's been a while since errands. I've missed errands. <laughs> I've actually missed errands. We've got to go to the library. We've got to go into town. And if you're wondering where everyone is, Katie, she's just in the bathroom at the moment. Sam's gone to work. Jamie's gone for a job interview. Can't remember how she got there, though. Me! Oh, that's right, that's it. And Jojo's just sat down there. You saw him a minute ago. And, well, I'm... Uh, uh, oh, there I am. Hello! Sorry about that. Hello! Change of plan. So library's coming later because Jojo wants some soft plays. I'm going to take him to a little soft play area. And I want to take this moment to introduce you, gang, to a new friend of mine. Well, I say introduce, it's a jug. It's a jug with a handle, lid. You probably recognise this jug because we got loads of these from our hall at Dave & Buster's, the arcade we're playing at a lot in America. And for those of you who are wondering who's the winner of the giveaway, we will be announcing that very soon, maybe towards the end of this week. So head over to that video. It's up in the corner if you still want to enter. Very simple to enter. Some nice goodies to win, maybe for you, your friends, your family, kids, anyone. There's a bit of something for everyone. But these jugs, yeah, they're brilliant. Just to take water anywhere, easy to hold, easy to store. They're brilliant. But it's just a jug. It's not even live. Why are you introducing them? I don't make up the rules. It just, it just happens. Right, off the soft playtime. Got to figure out how to drive back in England, though. <laughs> your car seat, I've got to sort it out. He's got a new car seat because our one, they didn't uh, send back when we came back from America. Oh, it's fixed. It worked. We'll keep it. But that actually did get ours back to us eventually, so... We're going to maybe give this to a family member or someone who's got a baby coming or something like that. A baby. A baby. Anyway, let's go. Soft play time. Woo! Because I haven't been here for six weeks, I might know what it's like. Oh. Are you just adjusting? Yeah. Should we change your name to Justin? Justin Timberlake? No. Somebody is a hot, thirsty boy. You having fun? Yeah. You just want to run away and have more fun, don't you? It's good here, isn't it? I'm going to shoot off I've got your feet. 
and he's gone. Yeah, the handy thing about places like this, Perry, you'd be feeling me on this, is you're keeping going playing and everything, you can keep an eye on them, and then you can just get other stuff done. This is really handy. I can get work done. I just did a call with the ethics guys, get my emails done, editing, all sorts of things done. It's really handy. And he's just so happy and preoccupied. You all done? You all played out, mate? Yeah. Good fun? It's only just begun. When it comes to rhyming, daddy won. Let's go anyway, to the library. Oh no, we've got to go home and get your books to take back. Oopsie. Jojo, do you realise how late it is now? We've been here forever. You turned the light off outside. <laughs> yeah, I turned the sun off. All right, son, we might have to give the library a skip. Should we just go home? Yeah. Go home and have some fun? Yeah. I'm hungry anyway. Let's go. Oh no, we haven't got the cork. We should give a name to our car. Av. <laughs> Let's call it Av, because it's got AV on it. Av's a wicked name. We love Av. Tell you what, I'm not happy to come back to this weather. This is cold. A lot of you guys were saying, oh, it's cold in England. I should have listened, Geezer Gang. I should have stayed for another six weeks. I'm in a harsh reality check of not wearing enough layers. But literally, everything is like steamed up. It's not happening in Florida. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm going to have to wait. Now, I'm going to dedicate this one to a very special friend of mine. His name is Jojo. Ah, oh, <laughs> dedicated to you. Everyone wave to Jojo. Wave to Jojo. <laughs> Yo ho, yo ho, a papyrus life for me. Hello, gets me. Hello. Oh, mummy, how are you doing? Spot a reading in the cozy corner, eh? Seriously, what, what's going on with all this I lot? I don't know, someone left it all here. What are you reading there? You're pretending you can read? Don't, you're not fooling anyone. Russell Brand books. Oh, I've lost my page! <laughs> It's anyway. actually a really good book. There's lots of naughty words in there, but it's a good book. And um, I'm not sponsored by Russell Brand. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> How are you anyway? You right? You recovering? Yes. The lag's been hitting you the hardest, oh, really, hasn't it? I don't know why. I think it's because you were able to stay up. Yeah, because we didn't really sleep much on the plane. And then I... Stayed up all yeah, day and we uh, got back. Yeah, and then went to bed at a kind of normalish time. Yeah. And you didn't. You slept in a day. You're naughty. Oh, I'm a bad person. You need to clear up these bears. I've been out all this time and the bears are still here. I've done the washing. What more do you want? We've been kicked, well, you've been kicked off the sofa by cats, Nick. But we wanted to discuss our, I guess, reflections on America, didn't we? Yeah. Just to kind of weigh up the pros and cons, really, isn't it? The sort of things we miss, the sort of things that maybe we miss now that we're here. We're missing from both ends of it, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, sit on your bum if you want to. Sit on, oh, I can sit on my bum, can I? Yeah. Thank you. I just wiped you over here. In America, that's one thing in America, she never let me sit on my bum. <laughs> I don't know why I was up like that, I felt comfortable. Jamie's off camera there, burying her face in some sort of noodle. So if you hear, <laughs> it's Jamie. And she's dressed in a giraffe onesie. So there she comes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just a heart. <laughs> I've kind of got mixed things. I'm happy to be back and I'm really inspired to carry on with certain things in England and from our home, but at the same time, there are certain things I miss. I'll start up now because I realized this earlier. It's the first time I was out in the evening. Weather. It's cold here. Pretty much hot the whole time in Florida. And when it was cold, it was nothing like on the level here. Let me just say, this isn't like a UK versus <laughs> USA. It's, not, it's, it's like London versus Orlando, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> on average, Florida and England are similar sizes. Yeah, but I think, think what we should do, we've got a list here on my laptop. It's that serious. Talk about the pros, like the things we loved about America. Yeah. I love the driving out there. I know in a lot of areas it may be a bit more congested, but everything was open. I didn't find one single laned road. Yeah, it's so there. easy. To, well, I didn't drive there. <laughs> it's very easy. You just lie back. It looked easy. But turning right at red lights. I love that. The kids were like, oh, you're doing a sneaky. I was like, no, this is allowed. It's yeah. great. So I'd say driving really good there. Being in London, obviously, is not as spread out. But I've driven around England a lot in lots of different areas areas and it's nowhere as open as it was in Orlando. That leads me on to the next one. Everything there is bigger, like re refrigerators. The buildings, Just, the size. Yeah, the... if you were to go to an apartment with a kitchen, you're going to get a huge refrigerator. Yeah. Like everything's bigger. Good thing that the refrigerator, that leads to the next one very nice. We're doing good at these transitions. Food. Now, Good food eating out there, but I think the thing that for me in England is just like, it's a bit safe with the ingredients. Of course, you're always going to be in a better position if you know how American food works compared to English food. But high fructose corn syrup and so many things, oh, so right. much. I don't think fructose corn syrup is banned in this country. It's just it, not in it. It's anything. not in anything. Never. Someone in the comments said that it's because the government subsidizes the, the, corn, the industry. corn industry and it's yeah. like a byproduct. Corn's a big industry in the US, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So because our bodies weren't used to it, yeah, that we can't. I'm a bit unstuck with that. And cotton so. seed oil. It's like eating the oil of my clothes. 
for Americans, there's hundreds of additives in food in America that are banned in our country, yeah. in Europe. So if you're American, you're probably used to having mm. it. But for us, yeah, it had a bit of a negative impact on our body. The food there is like so tasty though. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. really nice. And they do so. big portions and everything. Yeah, and yeah, you get good value for money in most places you eat out in. I, I was yeah. really happy about that. Sometimes in England, you go and buy something and you're like, where's the rest? I'll just yeah. pay, pay 10 quid for this. You can pay like $6.99 and get like a, a big yeah. buffet for that. Good point. Americans do a buffet. They know how to do a buffet. Mm. We've had a good buffet. The only buffet that I've had good in England is Buffet the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> And I'll tell you what they do good as well, did the amusements, the attractions. We're in a tourist area, but having Disneyland, Universal, a place called Fun Spot, which has got a, like an amusement park. There's the one that was right next to our hotel with the slingshot and the thing that goes around really high and it's really cold yeah, up there. They're, they're so parks. much. Their amusement do. parks are just, they're just next to And we've done all of them in the UK, most of them. We've done all the main ones in the UK, so we've got, we can really compare that. The next pro is the people there are so polite. Yeah, everyone's so happy. They're more enthusiastic and friendly. Not even that thing on the road. We saw a huge lorry, the whole tire coming off and just go, and so this big lorry had to pull over and there's a car pulling over right behind them just to help them out. Right. And most people in the UK would, if anything, they might just look out and bottleneck the road. You mean, rub, you mean rubberneck? That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm repeating it. Ah! And it isn't people that who just work in places. No, in it's just people in general. They say hello to you. Yeah. you know. Do you remember that lady that came up and she was like a beggar? She Nicest money. beggar. Like, no. Oh, excuse me. Do you happen to have any money on you? But she had a big smile and everything. American people, I think they have less inhibitions. Ah, oh, the money. Money, 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 money! Money! <laughs> I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is what I need. Hey, oh, hey. oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Hey, I, I need a dollar, dollar, dollar is Wow. You're gonna swing forever then. <laughs> Jojo, come in. You're gonna get in the video. We've got two additions to the video now. The money. Money was cool, man. You can have $100 in $100 bills. The woman at Walmart knows that for sure now. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and you just feel like a millionaire. You have $100, you know. No, but it makes yeah. you feel like you've got more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here, that we only have five pounds. It would have made you know? a really crap popping balloons thing, wouldn't it, with coins or five pound notes? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if any of you watched that video. 20 balloons. That was a fun video. Yeah. The kids are gone now. They were a bit, they got too excited. So yeah, the money's really cool. And, and the smell of the money, it just smells better. It has better. a nice smell, It yeah. smells better than our money. I never money. smell English money. Get my wallet. Yeah, that's one thing about money as well. Tax being added on to everything in America. Whereas it's included in the price here. It was just annoying because you can never gauge. Doing a hundred dollar shop was really annoying because you're like, eighty one dollars worth of food and then see what's added on. No, 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 they don't add it on food. Apparently, someone said in the comments, our subscribers don't lie to us. And the water thing. I don't know if they put the fluoride in the water there, I'm not sure. But I just remember going to America years ago and I remember the tasting so, of fluoride. Yeah. So I said, we must take the distiller. The whole time we were there, we distilled every bit of water. So we were so used to having distilled water, most of the time we distill the water here. Goodbye. But we think, oh, London water doesn't have fluoride in it, so we're used to the taste. It doesn't have as much chlorine. So we said, okay, we'll just drink the tap water, and it tasted this. Gave me a headache straight away as well. Could not drink it. So that's kind of opened our eyes a bit. We're used to having it from time to time when we're here before. Yeah. But when you've had distilled water for such a long period of time, then you come back and drink London water. Yeah. You yeah. raise the bar, why drop it? Yeah. Their accent. This is a crazy thing. I look at everyone in America like they're a character in something, and I'm just like, it's like on the set. It feels like you're on a movie set. You're so ingrained of hearing those voices on television. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, oh, they, I just love their accent. It's just such a cute accent. That's leads me to another point is that they absolutely love us as well sometimes they do say how's australia <laughs> maybe we should do a disclaimer that most people love us once they get to know us though there might be some american people that can't stand us oh that's one thing i had so much trouble with people understanding me and i really put an effort in i literally had times where i'd go and ask someone excuse me can you tell me where i can find the book and the bloke just looked at me walked off and then just pointed to a manager and went this guy, you talk, no idea what he's talking about. You talk too fast, maybe. I don't know. If you're American and you're watching this channel, US Geezer Gang, do I make sense? Can you understand me? I, I can't even I understand need this. you. So overall, what would you say is your favorite thing about American Mummy? Water parks. Water parks? Yeah. Really? That's my favorite thing. Yeah. Hmm. Good stuff. Dustin D actually asked, yeah, water parks, especially because it's like you've just come from a cold country and to go and do something like that. That was the most fun I had on both of those days, all three of those days we went there. 
Shout out time! So, shout outs for the following people who have requested them. Katie Pontin, Alison Carter, Shannon Millington, Three Perfect Kids and Maggie Minty. Thanks so much guys for requesting your shout outs. We were doing them every time you request them. As long so as you remember to do it. Yes. If I ever have missed your name, make sure you comment below. I'll get it in the next video. So that is our reflections guys. I hope you've enjoyed listening to us. Reflect on what has been an amazing trip. We're so happy to be home and we're so happy to be sharing this with you guys. We will be <laughs> returning to the US in around May. We're not going to tell you anything yet. This is something that we actually planned before we even left America. Let us know the comments below what's your experience has been if you've been to the US and you're from the UK or if you're from the US and been to the UK from any country in the world what's your experiences of different cultures different accents different countries what things you found out have you ever been sat on the floor when a floating subscribe button's just come near your head funny enough if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button we'd love it you to join our in journey the face. not in that face people are gonna think you're just like really good at editing that you can make a cushion just float <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video peace out no <laughs> no